what is like a, a national sport in Afghanistan? Oh, that's a beautiful question that you asked me. There's a lot of, all of questions amazing, but this is, yeah, that's what I was to talk about. I, I don't know, I was talking to James, Master James came in New York. He didn't know actually what's the, he asked me that same question. What sport is popular in Afghanistan? What is your national sport? So I said, oh, you know, this is something, it's actually, they could be hired for the horse stun in, in Hollywood with no problem because those guys are amazing. If you get a chance, it's called Bus Kashi. It's like Bus, B O S. B O S. Kashi. K A S H I. Bus Kashi. So okay. these, there is a two team. Apparently, I don't know so much about it, but I never played. But these guys are very strong people. They're wrestlers. They're very, very strong. And they are an incredible horse riders. Hmm. They play the game while riding the horse and while beating each other up, you know, the other team, with a, with a swing. So be, <laughs> Yes. It's, it's, it's very funny. You have to look at this. So what happens, they, they have a dead <laughs> lamb. So the dead lamb is going to be in one part of the ground. So there is a big field. The, each team has to grab that lamb from other uh, team to take that lamb to, to a certain mark and hit the mark and put in the circle there. A dead you see, lamb. Yeah, when they try to do that, the, the, the guy is literally flying with a lamb, you know, it's falling. So, and they're riding the horse Wild. one leg like this and grabbing this, and the other guy is hitting him. You have to, you have to see that you're going to be no, fascinated. No, no. We have to see this for sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, these guys are good. You know, I'm, if I say that good, they, they, they're, if they come to Canada or US for to do a stunt for the horse, They'll be higher in no beat. <laughs> wow. wow. Yes. Yeah. These so guys, now, do the winners get to have a barbecue? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I think so. What are you going to do with the dead lamb afterward? But yeah, uh, yeah. they probably do it by the alal. You know, they, you know, they have to do alal, <laughs> sure. make sure, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, and th those, those lambs are heavy. There's like a, it's like a, it's a good, uh, good, they use it big. It's a huge size. And they are strong to grab that and hold it. And, and the other team wants to grab it. They're pulling from each other. So they don't let so while they do that, they have that thing, they hit each other to let go, you know. So that's how they do it. They fight for it to uh, win. I it's it's incredible. Why are we over here using pucks and balls? I know. <laughs> we could be riding horses <laughs> and whacking each other. <laughs> so so that, that's, that's our national sports. Yeah. Wow. And, um, um, yeah, we don't have much of other still. We play other sports, soccer, but uh, actually ba um, cricket, just um, born in Afghanistan 10, 15 years ago. And they're second and third place in the world. They're, they're doing, because in the refugee camp, this is a very true story. 20 years ago, 15 years ago, they start the refugee, the refugee kids, Afghan kids, they start playing cricket in the Pakistan in the refugee camp as a kid. They didn't have much time. They just play cricket. And these guys end up becoming national team of Afghanistan cricket team. And they end up playing in India and in, in all, of the, all over the world, Africa, all of these places, they're coming second place, third place. They're, they have become so famous now. Then the, uh, the amount of uh, age that they have was only 15 years. That the, they are competing against one of the best ones they've been uh, training, like are competing for 100 years. Wow. Those guys, yeah, they're uh, they, they're very uh, they're very athletic people. Afghani people, they're very good in the sports. Well, they, I guess they must know. be strong and hardy with the mountain range. And just, I, I guess just so. They just uh, they just love true. it. I think maybe they're hungry. They're says. We don't have anything. We might as well play cricket all day or do martial arts or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, we're, like I said, in India, I was training Taekwondo. I didn't get a chance to talk about that. We're training literally outside in 35, 40 degree, morning and night. That's how my Taekwondo become really good because I train, train all the time. 